He's an extraordinary man, and his performances across the oceans are breathtaking. Regarding free diving, he's a specialist in constant weight diving, and he's twice won the title of world champion, not to mention beating the world record for deep free diving on four different occasions. On the showbiz side, it was Naughty Boy and Beyonce that he charmed with his run under the waves in the poetic music video for the song Running. As for luxury, it was Panerai that he won over, being the perfect ambassador for watches related to diving since their inception. Between making films, photo shoots and soon a new book, Guillaume Neri presents another vision of diving with the beauty of his gestures highlighted under thousands of cubic meters of water. In these times of pandemic, it's through a screen that we meet the master of this magic of movement in apnea, in the depths of the clearest and darkest waters. It was in Nice, on the shores of the Mediterranean Sea, that it all began and where its destiny continues. Mon histoire avec la profondeur, elle a commencé euh, à l'adolescence, à l'âge de, de 14 ans. Elle a commencé un peu par hasard. Euh, My story with depth began as a teenager at the age of 14. It started out by accident. It was an encounter that didn't even happen through water. At first, it was a challenge with a friend when I was in third grade, in middle school, on the bus, between school and home. One day, to pass the time, we set ourselves the challenge of stopping breathing and then seeing who could hold out the longest without breathing. Sure, it's a pretty universal game, which all young people and kids play sometime, except that I caught the bug. This game became a kind of, it was fascinating and became an obsession because it was a bodily experience, an experience of the limits of the body. Exercer une grande fascination est devenue une obsession parce que c'était une expérience corporelle, une expérience sous les limites du corps. Il y a différentes manières de pratiquer, mais depuis que je suis... There are different ways of practicing, but since I've been here, since I reached the high level, I have a level in what is called static apnea. That is to say, holding your breath and staying there as long as possible without movement, without moving. I can hold between seven and eight minutes approximately. When I'm, when I'm evolving in the water, it depends on so many things. It depends on the intensity with which I'm moving. You don't really measure time. When you're in a search for depth, you're really on a reflection around the depth. But let's say that it's about three to four minutes, even between four and five minutes, if I take the time at the bottom to ask myself. L'adaptation, c'est vraiment le, le maître mot. Hein. On, on, parle, on parle de, de notre condition. Well, adaptation is really the key word. We talk about our condition as a human, and then going into the water is to reactivate the adaptation mechanisms that exist, that we all have as a human being. We have adaptation mechanisms, protective reflexes. When we hold our breath and our head is under water, the body will interpret this stopping breathing and this contact with water as, a, as an alert that there's going to be a deprivation of oxygen. And so there's an instantaneous adaptation of the body, which will protect itself, which will slow down to preserve the oxygen that we have available in the body. He carries the values of the Panerai House, which almost seemed obvious to the diver, especially since he admires the work of explorer Mike Horn in this area. Le rôle d'ambassadeur, c'est à un moment donné de, de, de porter les valeurs de, de la marque et de porter la montre dans toutes les conditions. Euh, la, Panerai, c'est la marque de l'aventure, la marque de l'exploration. Et donc, euh, moi, je représentais cette exploration dans la verticalité. The role of ambassador is, at a given moment, to carry the values of the brand and to wear the watch in all conditions. Panerai is the mark of adventure the mark of exploration, and therefore I represented this exploration in verticality, in these great depths, and obviously what I see and what I think on what there is and what we can experience, what we can feel, what are the extreme conditions of the great depths, well, it has weight, it has meaning for reflecting on the watch. After that, I stay in my place, that is to say that I'm not a designer, a watch designer, and I'm here to give feedback. The first watch I dived with was the already existing model, the Submersible, which is really the benchmark watch in the world of diving at Panerai. And when we decided to move forward on a model in my image, in my name, well, it was obvious for me to start on this basis, use it as a starting point, and then here it is. I wanted on the two previous models, therefore the limited edition of 15 copies and the Guillaume Neri edition, that there should be a chronograph, because being able to measure time precisely in an activity where time is life, well, 
we measure time in seconds, in minutes. And that corresponds to this autonomy that we have underwater. The chronograph, because we can measure precisely the time in an activity where the time is life. It's a time that we measure in seconds, in minutes. It corresponds to this autonomy that we have in the water. For me, it made sense to show that for me, it made sense that a watch for lovers of the oceans and the depths had this function. And then, recently, we started to develop a new model. There's also a real desire at Panerai, and me. That's what really appealed to me too. It's an extremely dynamic brand under the impetus of Jean-Marc Pontrouet, the CEO for three years, who's given it impetus and who's ready to try new things. And so we started with this new model in my name, based on a Luminor, which is a bit like the historical model of Panerai. But here is the version that can dive, a version for the depths. I can't wait to try it out, just to be able to compare with the previous model. A single late motif for this pair in watchmaking creation, to convey the message that the oceans must be protected. Disons que dans la mesure où tous les projets de 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 d'œuvres, films. Insofar as all the projects of work, film, photo, expeditions always have this scope, and that Panerai follows me in all my adventures, obviously Panerai is therefore with me in this transmission of message, and in this desire as well to change things. The latest watch features recycled materials. There were discussions particularly around the interest of setting an example. I think that today, large groups and great leaders must also show a way, just as the ambassadors must be spokespersons. So really, the more the movement is massive and brings all the actors together, the more chances there are that there'll be an impact. Doivent être des porte-paroles, et donc c'est plus le mouvement est massif et et amène tous les acteurs, bah plus on a des chances de qu'il y ait un impact. When it comes to protecting the oceans, who better than Guillaume Nery to take stock of the situation with complete clarity? On vit une situation qui est quand même très critique. Euh, avec euh, des océans qui sont en train de s'appauvrir, des océans qui meurent, avec une surpêche qui est en train de... We're living in a situation which is very critical, with oceans which are being impoverished, oceans which are dying, with overfishing which is emptying the sea of all life, with chemical pollution and microplastic, and plastic in general, which is constantly increasing. So, there's still a drama that's playing out, but it's true that in what I try to convey to the general public, I try to do, I try to make people want to open up their eyes under water to get them to feel emotion with this universe that they don't necessarily know de les amener à à à à ressentir de l'émotion avec avec cet univers qu'ils ne connaissent pas forcément among all the seas in the world the mediterranean has a very special resonance in the heart of the diver j'aime le fait qu'elle soit froide au fond j'aime la couleur I love its variation in temperature. I love that it's cool to the bottom. I love the color, and it puts me in a performance-friendly frame of mind. For the encounter with underwater life, for the moment, I have no equal other than the Pacific. The Pacific Ocean, which is really the ocean which almost gives its identity to the planet, which means that the planet is blue. It's really three oceans, but mainly the Pacific, which occupies a large part of our planet and more particularly French Polynesia, which is in the heart of the Pacific Ocean. It's a place where I'm going to spend three or four months a year, because I really forged a very strong bond with this place, with the ocean culture that reigns in Polynesia. And it's a bit like my second, my second house. In the coming weeks, Guillaume Neri will immerse himself not in the seas, but in directing, with the main idea of transmission. On a quelques images, alors pas pour des projets personnels, mais sur des projets de gros documentaires pour des grosses chaînes. We're going to shoot a few images, not for personal projects, but for big documentary projects, for big European channels, where I shot a few images last summer, just before and in the fall, just before the new confinement. All the projects are related to this idea of transmitting this message. I'm working on opening a school, a center, an academy to learn. To learn, I would say, it's not even to learn free diving, but to bring people to put their head under water, to reconnect to the water through the practice of free diving, through the practice of yoga, meditation, a kind of holistic approach which uses apnea as a way to reconnect with yourself, to reconnect with something very simple, the link with nature. So there you have it. 
It's a project that will see the light of day, which will be called the Blue Neri Academy. Simple lien avec la nature. Donc voilà, ça c'est un projet qui va voir le jour, ce qui va s'appeler la Blue Neri Academy. So many projects to keep an eye on, which will fascinate the adventurers of the depths to come, and those who watch from the shores with admiration.